Hi everyone, this is Devin Coombs, and today I will be talking about our sixth question in our managerial accounting series. Uh, we're pulling all of these questions from CSUN's Gateway Lab Exam Practice. It's all public information, and I'll post the link below so you can grab those questions. So the question reads, as production increases within the relevant range, A, variable costs will vary on a per unit basis, B, variable costs will vary in total, C, fixed costs will vary in, a to in total, D, fixed costs and variable costs stay the same in total, or E, none of the four answers is true. So understanding the relationship between variable costs and fixed costs is essential to moving forward in your studies for business. It's a basic concept, but if you don't get it, uh, you're not going to get through the rest of college. So let's look at a formula that we all know. We all grew up knowing the function f of x or y is equal to nx plus b. Uh, this is a great example to explain fixed and variable costs. Your b or your y-intercept is going to be your fixed costs. So that's like if we start a business and we need a thousand dollars to get a license to run the business or we, maybe we need a shop or certain materials that we can't get away with. We need to buy a plant that will be our fixed cost this number doesn't change within a relevant range in, in the long term let's say we would really expand our fixed cost might increase so this question is talking about a relevant range which means within a reasonable amount of range where we won't need new fixed costs so fixed costs are not going to change in a relevant range right? their total won't change but as the units increase the fixed costs go down per unit because if I make one unit, we have $1,000 in uh, fixed costs per unit. But if we make two units, it's going to be $500 in fixed costs per unit. So our company becomes more efficient with their fixed cost utilization as we produce more products and make more money. Now, the opposite is true for variable costs. Uh, variable costs at no production will be zero, while fixed costs will be 1000 um, But as we increase production uh, of our variable costs, will go up proportionally, uh, hence the 10x. So the 10, the constant, will be our uh, variable costs. So that's uh, interesting. So as, let's say we're making shirts that cost $10 to make uh, one pair of shirts, or I don't know if they're a pair, but whatever, one shirt. Yeah, one shirt. Uh, so if we're making one shirt for $10, 10 shirts will cost $100. So here, let's say we're making 10 shirts, uh, it will cost uh, $100, so the total cost will be 1100 So the total cost is going to be f of x. If we make 100 shirts, it will be 2000 So our total cost, a variable cost, is going up proportionally, uh, but our fixed cost is going down per unit but remaining constant. So that would make our answer B. Variable costs will vary in total. As we increase production, our variable costs will increase in total. That's the key there. Let's go through every answer to make sure uh, why the other ones aren't correct. Because knowing why something isn't correct is just as important as knowing why the answer B is correct. Uh, it'll help your full understanding of the material, which is essential. So A, variable costs will vary on a per unit basis. They don't, they're proportional. Everything in our previous example was 10, so that does not vary, uh, this is wrong. C, fixed costs will vary in total. They don't, fixed costs are constant. In total they vary per unit so that's wrong D fixed and variable costs stay the same in total this is wrong uh, variable costs uh, increase proportionally in total um, fixed costs do stay the same but the combination total costs obviously grow which was our f of x previously B is correct so E is wrong so while you're going through all of these make sure you understand why the correct answer is correct and why the wrong answers are wrong and uh, I hope this helps if you have any questions feel free to comment below and I'll be happy to answer them. Have a great day.